Hi, this is Cindy Shebley from the Web Seller Circle. You can save yourself some money by using a free service called photobucket.com. Let me show you how that's done. First thing you want to do is open your sell your item form. And I like to have the, the photo bucket tab open as well. Just click on Upload Images. It'll take you to your image area where you want to pick the image that you want to upload. So I'm going to pick Froggy here and open. And now the upload starts. On the landing page, you can see that you can add titles and descriptions. Uh, great if you're photo sharing and, and being social, but I just want it for eBay. So save and return to the album, or you can save and return and get links. Either button works the same. Now, you know, get a lot of ads because it is free. Just close them. So here's the picture we just uploaded. And what I want is this one that says direct link. So I'm just going to copy that. And now I'm going to go back to my eBay listing. In our first example, what I'm going to show you is a pre-designed template done in HTML. So here's the template in the standard view. What I want to do is change it to the HTML tag. Now most designers, when they do these templates for you, will give you a little key where the picture goes. And here it says picture goes below. So what I want to do is I don't want to change any of the height or the width or the border. I just want to change out the picture. So I grab that from HTTP to the end where it says JPEG. I need to leave the quote marks in place and I just paste in the new URL between the quote marks. Now if I got everything correct, if I go back to the standard view, I should see my new picture. And there it is. If there's a red X, it means that you've accidentally dropped one of those quote marks or you've overwritten one of the tags. So you need to go back and double check to make sure you didn't accidentally remove that quote mark or one of those little brackets. Now another thing I want to mention here really quickly is oftentimes when you go back and forth between the standard and the HTML tag, you lose a little bit of the text formatting. If that happens, just highlight the text and you can go over to the standard formatting and choose your font and font size. So that's how it's done with a template. But let's just say you want to put it in just a a regular standard text box. You don't want to do any fancy HTML. Let me show you how to do that. So here we are. Here's my text. I want to put it in this text box or right between the two lines. So again we want to return to photo bucket. Go to the picture. Instead of this direct link code though, what I'm looking for this time is the one below it, the HTML code. And I just click in that box and copy it by right clicking with my mouse and return to eBay, sell your item form. I want it to go between these two lines of text so I'm just going to hit my enter key to put a space in and then go to the HTML tag. Now you see here that there are two P's and a space. We want to be very careful not to get rid of those brackets in any way. If that means just hitting your return button instead of highlighting, so be it. Those brackets are very important. Now we have our cursor between the two P brackets, the opening and closing paragraphs. We just paste in the information we copied from Photo Bucket, and there's our picture. Now there is a clickable link built into this, which means that you can make this picture smaller if you want, and your buyer can click on it and go to Photo Bucket to see the larger image. That is allowed, is acceptable by eBay and legal, because it's not distracting your buyer from purchasing. It's only showing them a larger picture. This is Cindy Shevley from the Web Seller Circle. Hope to see you there.